Hey everybody, I'm Paul Leffler. You know this guy, Pat Hill and Cam Worrell. We're your radio crew, and on behalf of our colleagues at Bulldog Sports Properties, we just wanted to thank you for your investment in our athletic program. Your support helps create championship experiences for student athletes, and it makes this an incredible game day atmosphere at Valley Children's Stadium. Is there a better game day atmosphere in the Mountain West? No, oh, not at all. Not even close. Not even close. <laughs> not even close. <laughs> Fresno State once again leading the conference in attendance, nearly 40,000 a game. And we're kind of at the halfway point of the season. So let's check in. Pat, what's your biggest takeaway from the first half of 2023? Well, except for that one hiccup in Wyoming, and you got to give Wyoming credit. They really played a whale of a game that night. But we still had a chance in the fourth quarter to come back and win it. But I think since then, we've got a new resolve. We still control our own destiny. If we can just keep winning, we got a great chance to get to the championship. Cam, what about you? You've been there and, and you've seen it up close and personal. Do you have a sense of whether this team's best football is still out in front? Yeah, you know, I've been really impressed with each side of the ball's ability to step up when needed, right? The first game, the offense had a good game against Purdue. I thought this is going to be a defensive-led football team for the first half. Defense has played well, but Utah State, they did not play well. They were picked up by the offense. Purdue, the offense picked this defense up. Arizona State, the defense pitched a shutout. They can win in, a ver in various ways, and I think that is a good sign for them the last half of the season because there are some tough matchups starting with UNLV, then Boise State coming to Valley Children's Stadium. But I'm very impressed with how sound on both sides of the ball this football team is. We're a well-coached football team. There's no doubt about it. Under Coach Tepford, he's got a great staff. They're very disciplined. Uh, they play technique sound football. Uh, they don't beat themselves, and, and that's a great key. That's, that's good coaching, and that's bright young men. That mark of a team that can excel situationally and play complementary football really is a tribute to the coaching staff and how focused these guys are. My biggest takeaway is just the bigger extension of that, that it not only takes coaches and players, it takes this community, and this community keeps showing up, and you're helping us reach that community. I'll put our community up against anybody, anytime, anywhere.